Hello, it is your friendly neighbourhood maths teacher here to give you a quick maths lesson on sequences. So sequences is something you will have seen in maths before, either at GCSE or Functional Skills, and the type of sequences we are going to be looking at today are sequences that increase or decrease by the same amount each time. Okay, so if you look at this sequence here, we're going from 2 to 5 to 8 or 11. This is called a linear or an arithmetic sequence, okay, if the jump is the same each time. What is the jump? on this sequence. What's it changing by each time? If we have a look, it's going up by three. Yes, there is a jump of plus three in between each number. The next term would be what? If we add three again, it's going to be 14. Okay, so the next term of the sequence would be 14. We name these sequences using something called an nth term, and that's a little algebraic expression that we can use to generate other terms in that sequence. The way that we find an nth term is by looking at some details about the sequence. So this number that it goes up or down by each time, that goes in front of n. Okay? So the amount we increase or decrease by, that goes in front of n. The previous term goes on the end. So if I go back one term, okay, what would have come before 2? If we go back one term, if we take away 3, we'll get minus 1. And that's going to go on the end, okay? So plus 3 goes on the start, minus 1 goes on the end, and we get this, 3n minus 1, okay? And that is the nth term for the sequence. What that means is, this sequence is the 3 times table, but one place behind. So where the 3 times table would go 3, 6, 9, 12, this goes 2, 5, 8, 11. It's always one step behind, but it's still going up in 3s, okay? Let's have a practice of that with another sequence. So what's happening this time? Well, it's going up by 2 on each one, and the previous term would have been 5 if we take away 2. So using this information, 2 goes in front of the n, and positive 5 goes on the end. So our, our nth term here is going to be 2n plus 5. If we look at this sequence here, something different's happening with this sequence. What has changed? Well, this is a sequence that's decreasing instead of increasing. Still by a set amount each time, what is it? It's going down by one each term, isn't it? We're going down by one each time. If I was to look, what would the previous term have been? I'd have to add one to go backwards. The previous term would have been nine. Okay, we can use that and that to generate our nth term. This goes in front of the n, that goes on the end. Minus n minus one n plus nine. Okay, that would be the nth term. We can use these nth terms to solve other questions. If we had 4n minus 2, and I wanted to know what the tenth term of that specific sequence is, I can make n equal to 10, put it in, and work it out. So if I make n 10, I'll get this. 4 times 10 minus 2, which gives me 40 minus 2. Remember, bid mass. The answer would be 38. So the tenth term of this sequence is 38. What about the 50th term of this sequence? I put 50 in the brackets instead, in place of n. 4 times 50 minus 2, that would be 200. Take away 2 would give me 198. Okay? And that's how we can find specific terms in a sequence if we know the nth term. One more thing we might get asked. Is 10, for example, in that sequence? Is one of the numbers in that sequence going to be 10? Or is it going to miss 10? The way we find out is if 10 is in the sequence, then 4n minus 2 will equal 10 at some point. Some number that you put in will give you 10 as an answer, like we just did, okay? So, I can set that equal to 10 like an equation, 4n minus 2 equals 10. I just need to know what n is, which term gives me 10, which term is the 10, okay? So, if I'm solving this like a normal equation, if I want to find n, what do I have to do here? I can add 2 to both sides. That will get me 4n equals 12, and then I just want n by itself. I don't want 4 times n. What's the opposite of times by 4? Dividing by 4. Thank you very much. On both sides. So we get n equals 3. In other words, the third term of this sequence is 10. So the answer is yes, 10 is in that sequence. Okay? If you couldn't divide 12 by 4, then the answer would be no, it's not in that sequence. That's something else we can do with nth terms and sequences. Have a go at all of the questions I've linked in the description to this video and let me know if you have any questions.